Okay. Benefactor down the chain <laughs> by Sarah. Illustrated by Laura and Elena. You don't even have it. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> times were bad for Billy's family. Their house was close to being repossessed by the bank, and they were going to have to move to an apartment with no chimney. <laughs> Luckily, at the last minute, a stranger with a large inheritance appeared. He offered to give Billy's mom and dad enough money to keep the house. <laughs> Jesus ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing like a judge's robe. <laughs> Billy's mom called Billy downstairs. Billy, she said, come meet the kind benefactor who will save us from financial ruin. Billy greeted the benefactor, but cared little for him. His attention was caught by the massive wad of cash sitting on the kitchen counter. He got a good idea. Billy's parents invited the benefactor to stay the night. More importantly, they invited the wad of cash to stay the night. <laughs> it stayed there on the counter, just waiting to be stolen. That's just what Billy planned to do. I like how the bunny has different greens. Yeah. During the darkest hour of the night, Billy snuck downstairs. He crept to the kitchen counter where the wad of cash was waiting. He snatched it quickly and began creeping back to his room. <laughs> you know, <like> his toes. <laughs> <laughs> then, before Billy could get to the top of the stairs, a whisper came from the darkness. Hey, it hissed. What are you doing with my money? It, it was, was the benefactor. benefactor. <laughs> Without a word, mm -hmm. Billy took off. The benefactor chased him as quickly, quickly and quietly as he could. Neither wanted to wake Billy's parents. Billy ran outside, lost for where to go next. Then he looked up, and the answer waited for him there. <laughs> Billy leapt onto the roof. With surprising agility, the benefactor followed. With cash still in hand, Billy took off towards the chimney. He set the cash wad on the edge of it. Oh no, Billy said. I left the cash on the edge of the chimney. You'll have to come get it if you want it. Glaring daggers, the benefactor approached. When he reached the chimney, Billy struck. <laughs> he jumped behind the benefactor and pushed him up and over the ledge and into the chute. The benefactor screamed loud enough to wake up Billy's parents, just as he wanted. As the rich man continued to yell, Billy shoved him in the cash down the chimney and into the fireplace. Inside, Billy's parents were stirring. His mom was confused and went to start a fire. Billy raced inside. Wait, mom, he cried. That's the money that will save our house. Don't set it on fire. There was also a live human being in the fireplace, but Billy didn't really find that important. But Billy's mom didn't have her hearing aids in. <laughs> and didn't hear a thing. She set the benefactor on fire. In the nick of time, Billy snuck his, stuck his hands in the fireplace and retrieved the wad of cash. He sustained some nasty burns, and they had a corpse to dispose of, but all that really mattered was that the money was safe. They would get to keep their house after all. <laughs>